truck drivers of reddits. What is your most NSFW story from the road? My dad's a truck driver. Called me really upset one morning about 7 years ago saying a girl my age, I was 16 then, was knocking on his window about 5-10am. Barefoot and obviously high. She had little to no teeth and didn't seem to have bathed in weeks. She was begging my dad to let her perform sexual services on him in exchange for like $10 US or something. It made him so upset that he bought her a hot chocolate and a sandwich. Gave her his blanket from his truck and $50 and really hoped she wouldn't use it for drugs. I guess he thought of me when he saw her. I don't know. Really shook him. Years ago there was a similar question on here and this truck driver got on and proceeded to tell a tale of him witnessing one truck driver's pet chimp kick the it out of another truck driver's pit bull. My friend's dad was apparently driving one day and a turkey fell out of a tree broke through the window and he was just covered in blood. But he was apparently less than a mile from completing the delivery. Apparently they thought he killed someone before they saw the turkey. My dad's been a truck driver for over 30 years and his story he tells all the time is before the age of cell phones. He was running in the middle of the night and came up on a flipped vehicle. About that time a state trooper pulled up. The trooper and him followed bloody footprints through the desert trying to find the driver. They never found anyone. Another time it was a similar situation. But it was a extended van with a group of people and children. He had to help find the bodies in the dark that had been scattered from the van flipping. A few times I've seen someone receiving roadhead, and once I had a convertible of college age girls flash me their tits. But the funniest was a guy driving down the road with his topless girlfriend or wife. He was just holding a boob. He wasn't rubbing it, and they weren't doing anything else. He was just driving down the road holding a massive titty. Used to assist in liability claims for trucking companies. What a nightmare. Best NSFW stories involved the multiple times truckers ended up in the back of their trucks trying to score with a lovely lady, who then proceeded to rob them blind and or steal the cab. We had two calls in one month involving truckers in Texas where the drivers were found naked in the back of their trucks with no wallets or ID at all. Police were calling us to identify them and figure out how to get them back on the road. One guy lost a full load from Circuit City because he thought it was his lucky day. Didn't matter how many times we warned the drivers or told the stories. SFW was the guy who stopped off at home en route to deliver a load. Found his wife with her boyfriend getting cozy. He walked back to the truck. Put it in gear and parked it in their living room. No one died but try to explain to your insurance carrier how this was an accident. I'm one of the elusive female long haul drivers. The number of times I have been invited to share a shower with total strangers is disturbing. But the absolute worst I ever heard was in a truck stop in Florida. I got out to fuel. And had been running hard. So I had a bandana on and my hair in pigtails. I finished fueling and jumped in to pull forward to go get my receipt and turned on my truck. Overheard two guys talking about how they were going to grab me by my pigtails and ram me hard from behind. I opted to not stay at that truck stop that night. And went to another one for my shower, laundry and for the night. I had just started working for a large corporate company. There was extra money to be made if your first truck a recovery truck. Someone quits and just leaves a truck somewhere. You get to ride with another driver and pick it up. This truck happened to be on the US Canada line. At the inspection station. I see the truck sitting there. With this crate strapped to the back on the fifth wheel it's maybe 4x6x3 which is odd. I go into the custom station. Tell them I am here to get the truck and show them my paperwork. The guy at the desk give me this you poor fool look. And says I hope you have a strong stomach. Gives me the keys. I go to the truck and open the door. The smell of it. And other human body odors. Just about knocks me on my ass. This truck is a wreck inside. There's a pile of it about 2 feet high against the side of sleeper. The mattress is just soaked with piss. One of cabinets was filled with it. Turns out the last driver was busted when he tried to cross the border with the truck. Got stopped for an inspection. Needless to say the smell tipped off the inspectors. The better things to list is they found. Two naked women tied up in the sleeper. A loaded .38 special. Trafficable amounts of sugar. Needless to say he was locked up. The crate on the back of the truck was all his personal effect they were not keeping as evidence. I did not drive that truck back. I have no clue what they did with it. TLDR. 
tired to recover a truck for some extra cash, turned out to be filled with human it and piss, and was being used to traffic humans and drugs. I saw a lot lizard empty her contents by hanging her ass out of a truck window, then move along to the next truck. Driving northbound I-15 through Cajun Pass, I saw a really nice classic book parked on the side of the freeway with its hazards on. Looked to have broke down. Upon closer inspection, an older woman had stopped, dropped her pants, hit the hazards and was dropping a massive deuce with her ass hanging out of the driver window. Different story. At the Flying J in Ehrenberg, I stopped for fuel and jerky. While I was walking in, I noticed a driver yelling at a recreational reptile to leave him alone and let him sleep and this was the last time he was gonna tell her. So I did my shopping. And on my way back to start fueling I noticed the driver from earlier taking off from his spot and driving towards the lot lizard. I was thinking duck him great I'm about to witness a murder and have to deal with taking statements and it. Nope. Dude got his truck up to about 15 miles per hour. Rolled the window down and whipped a jug of something I'm gonna guess wasn't lemonade at her and drilled her center mass. So this piss soaked lot lizard goes sprinting into the travel center. And about 5 seconds later people started pouring out the front doors like the place was on fire. By the time I was done fueling the cops had came and were tossing her in their cruiser while taking turns dry heaving. Best part is I was about 50 yards upwind of all this. My old wow guild had a truck driver in our ranks. He carried a full PC in his truck and connected over wireless at truck stops to raid. We were raiding the day the verdict was released at the last Michael Jackson trial. As we played, he was giving us regular updates of some truckers fighting outside his truck over the verdict. The fight kept escalating. Stuff thrown. Fists used. Knives pulled. Finally he just piped up in voice chat oh it. Go to go. Fill you in later and went to flying. About 30 minutes later he comes back. Apparently the fighting truckers decided to pull guns on each other. So he decided to GTFO and head inside the stop. Edit. Since this blew up. Maybe some old guildmates would see this. Tsug Tsug on server Girona. For the horde. Didn't drive. But worked in safety for a large OTR company. Our Elug system had a camera option so drivers could take pictures during pre-trips or if they were involved in accidents. Had a driver quit and when we were getting the truck ready for someone else we discovered he had made the home screen of his Elug tablet a naked picture of someone he had in his truck. It was terrible. The worst part was we could not figure out how to change it back. I'm a little late to this party but this is a pretty interesting story. My mom was a truck driver for a little bit when I was just out of high school. I took a trip with her from Texas to Louisiana. Stopped at a truck stop outside Baton Rouge. We got approached by a prostitute. My mom said she wasn't interested because she wasn't gay. The prostitute said I'm both male and female. I have a V and D. My mom being the curious sort she is asked how that was possible they said I'm a real hermaphrodite. I was born with a working VND. My mom said she would give them $10 to see. They agreed. This person had a veal opening. Testicles. And working D. We ended up talking with them for about 30 minutes about hermaphroditism. It was pretty interesting conversation. Driving northbound in Utah heading to Brigham to deliver a load. Get past Ogden and it just starts downpouring like a Texas storm. It also happens to be 8pm and pitch black out. Happened to road by the scene of an accident where a gentleman was hanging out the driver's side window of a 90s Tacoma with a white sheet barely covering him and covered in blood. His head only half attached to his body. The tires of the truck were bald as it and given the pole that the truck was wrapped around. It's obvious what happened. Wear your seatbelt people and be safe. I don't want to see another semi-decapitation. Edit. Rip in box. Highest rated comment is about a dead guy. I had a lot lizard drop of false teeth on my junk. Really killed the mood. I'm technically not a truck driver. But I work for a company who does a lot of trucking. Last month we had a driver killed on the road because someone blew a red light. He swerved to miss them and rolled the truck. Crushing him. Doesn't get much more horrific than that. Edit. Mr. Word. My father-in-law's dad, grandfather-in-law, was driving through a pretty sketch part of New York in the 70s. He was in Vietnam and not the nicest human. I guess there was an area known for truckers getting robbed due to the slow moving traffic. Just cut your lines and take your it. 
He was driving through this area and a dude just hopped up on the steps of his cab. So since he was holding his .45, presumably for this reason, shot the dude point blank in the chest and just kept going. Somehow nothing came of it. Pretty insane in my opinion. Not exactly NSFW. Not horrific but hilarious. My dad was a long haul driver and was stopped for the night pretty close to where we live. My mom of course had gone to see him. So they had dinner. Go back to the crowded parking lot. Bumped uglies and probably conceived my brother. When my mom was going to leave. My dad waited until after she got out of the truck to hand her some money. Making her look like a girl he picked up somewhere. Lots of me next. Coming from across the way. It's my favorite story and I probably told it more than they did. Edit. My most upvoted comment. Thanks guys. Nobody asked but even though they're weirdos. I'm really proud of them. My parents. Not exactly a truck driver but have spent a number of nights at truck stops from the age of 13 on. 32 now. I grew up drag racing and back when I was younger where me and my family loved it was minimum a 2 1 stroke 2 hour drive to the closest track but we used to travel to a lot of tracks that would be over 5 hours away. This resulted in a lot of nights spent in truck stops mostly with me sleeping in the back seat of the truck. Bed of the truck or in the trailer with the race car. A few quick stories of what I've seen. Naturally a lot of lot lizards. They aren't as prominent as some think but they are definitely out there. One night while sleeping in the bed of the truck I overheard a truck driver arguing with an older woman over the cost of a blow job. Apparently $40 was too much for this guy. This lasted for about 5 minutes until the woman left. About 5 minutes later I hear the same guy talking to another guy I assume was a truck driver as well. He was telling this new guy about the woman wanting to charge him $40 for a blow job. The guy then says something along the lines of hell I'll suck you off for half that. I assume the guy accepted that offer because I heard both of them hop into the cab of one of the trucks next to me. I was about 14-15 at the time. I was also propositioned by a mother-daughter team that looked to be 35 and 18 at most. I was about 16-17 at the time. There's other stories but those are the only two that come to mind. Edit. I did not take the mother-daughter combo. I was about 16. All the money I had was spoken for in having to use it at the race and also I was traveling with my stepdad and mother. Watched a couple solicit a lizard. Have a threesome in the truck. Didn't see that part but we know when the truck is rockin'. And pay her hug her and send her on her way. Flat tires. Not safe at all. I'm just here for the lot lizard stories. About 20 years ago I was heading down snowshoe on I-80 in Pennsylvania. Flatbed passed me, and after he got about a 1 stroke 4 mile in front of me the brake lights came on and he started swerving all over. Ended up in the median. Upright but jackknifed into the driver's side. Turns out he hit a bear, which went through the windshield. Bear survived it and went on attack mode. I and two other drivers got to him in time to see this bear flipping out inside the cab attacking the guy. Right behind us was a state trooper. He ran up to the truck yanked the passenger door open and shot the bear twice. Bear turned around and started towards him and he unloaded into it. That guy was tore the duck up and no he didn't make it. Watched a woman driving snort white powder off of a CD case with a kid in a car seat in the back. Tennessee. A trucker purposely hit my best friend's uncle while he was on a motorcycle. The trucker ran his pockets and took his ID and his plates and left him for dead on the road. Even though he was mangled beyond recognition he was conscious and he begged the trucker to leave some ID behind so his family wouldn't be left to wonder what happened. The trucker laughed and drove away. Somehow he survived but he's paralyzed neck down. Oddly my friend's father is also a trucker. The world's been cruel to that family. I was an OTR driver for the weirdest year of my life. Lot Lizard tried to get into the truck with my husband driving partner hole I was in the back sleeping. We had heard you should be nice and park a specific way because otherwise they can unhook your trailer and you'll be ducked when you leave. Watched a large woman in the middle of arguing with the voices in her head have a full psychotic break and scare the it out of a waitress. I have more. I'll be back. Not a truck driver but my dad was. Since he was a long haul trucker we would go with him during summer break. So one late night in the plains of Oklahoma on a very straight and very long wrong in the distance we could see taillights switching back and forth. Over and over again. 
We finally manage to catch up and dad comes across the CB asking if we could pass. A lady comes over and says that we could. Well apparently there was 3 trucks total. We passed the first truck and it was complete dark in the cab. We passed the second truck. Same thing. Complete darkness. We go to pass the lead truck and it's a woman driver with her titties out and playing with toys. I'm around 13-14 at the time. So needless to say I was happy. Well the lady came back over the CB and asked if we enjoyed the show and wanted to know if we wanted to sew down for another view. Politely my dad said we enjoyed it but was behind. Apparently the two trucks in the back were taking turns swapping lanes to get a view. Not a truck driver. But I do know someone who shot at a truck driver while driving down the interstate. The local drivers knew the guy and didn't like him because he would basically just record drivers doing illegal maneuvers and then sell the tapes to the companies. One day he claims that the truck driver saw him and tried running him off the road so he pulled out a gun and shot right into the cab. He claimed self defense in court, after firing from a moving vehicle, and even tried to get some of my friends to lie in court for him, they didn't. But he ended up doing about a year. My dad drove truck for the first 18 or so years of my life. I went with him a lot when I was a kid. Most gruesome thing I have ever seen was an accident where a semi hit a cow. Blood and guts ducking everywhere. The truck was pretty much demolished. No horror movie has even come close to as gory as that sight. Saw a guy get door checked by cops and he flew into a chain link fence. One of the cops jumped out of the moving car and started beating his ass. That was not a good part of St. Louis to be parked in overnight. My dad slept in the driver's seat with a Beretta on the dash that night. Be surprised how many men and women you see driving down the road in various stages of undress. You don't really notice it when you're in a car but from a higher vantage point. Yeah. Also I saw way more masturbating than roadhead. And yes I learned to curse at an extremely young age. This is nothing NSFW but it involves a trucker. I remember taking a peek at my uncle's paycheck back in 1993 and that ducker was clearing $2,500 a week. Used to work as a freight broker. I had one carrier, trucking company, whose dispatcher became somewhat of a good friend from all the work we did together. And frequently he'd assign this one charismatic, kinda hillbilly-ish driver on my loads. A nice break from the typically grumpy Eastern European who spoke no English and hated you for calling him. On one of said loads, driver picked up a lot of lizard somewhere in the Carolinas. Typically these type of ladies don't spend too long in the cab. But seems driver guy had found himself somewhat of a gem as he started hauling with her in the cab everywhere. Days turned into weeks, into months, and despite how much he'd call her out for being an ugly slut when I was on the phone with him, they seemed like they had a good thing going. TL. DR it gets lonely out there. Get yourself a duck buddy. Not really NSFW and not my story, but my buddy's girlfriend's parents own a trucking business and one of their drivers never showed to his stop and they couldn't get a hold of his phone so they looked at the tracker on the truck and he was at a truck stop in California. They called the police there and they went to check it out. He had been robbed and shot in the process while parked overnight. The worst part was that it was his second to last run before he retired. The owners of the company knew him well and felt terrible because he didn't want that job but they gave it to him anyway. Work for a 3PL and we had to permanently ban one of our carriers because our customer found the team of drivers gang banging a lot lizard as they were waiting to be unloaded. Apparently when they got caught, one of the drivers took off across the lot ass naked never to be seen again. Story is from my brother. He was at a rest stop once and saw this middle aged woman in a pink jeep with 4-5 small dogs, walking them. He continued about his routine and got in his truck and back onto the freeway. A few minutes down the road the jeep with the woman and her dogs goes flying past him, and suddenly makes a sharp left turn, hits the dirt median, and barrel rolls. He stops the truck and runs to check on her. There are dead dogs scattered all over. She is laying in a ditch of water with her head just above the water. She kept asking him incessantly if her dogs are okay. They were not. She was not okay either as she could not get up. Pulled into a truck stop outside of Sacramento. We'll dive. I just wanted some coffee and take a bit. As I'm walking through the lot I see some sketchy looking homeless guy yelling at truckers demanding money. I decide to avoid the situation. 
cut between some trucks and circle around the store. About a minute or two later I hear a gunshot. The homeless guy shot a trucker in the head. Two other guys tackled him and held him for the police. I always wonder if I hadn't decided to avoid him if that would have been me. Edit to everyone asking. I didn't see the name of the truck stop. It was south of Sac on 99. This happened in the mid 90s. It wasn't a big chain truck stop like Pilot, Petro, or Flying J.